Hey there. Welcome to the next part of Jade Empire. Still pretty close to the beginning. Didn't really play that long yet. So I'm just gonna be picking up from there as soon as I bring up my chat. Twitch app does not like me. Okay, there it goes. Alright, let's do this. Last thing that happened, that one dude sent his other dudes after me, and then Master Lee like blew up his ship or whatever. So yeah, let's talk to Dawnstar about this. Yes, I'll help if I can, but Master Lee is waiting for you. I was worried enough when we were expecting bandits. Now it seems there are dangers we don't even know about. Master Lee called that, that sorcerer an assassin. Assassins don't attack at random. They have very specific prey. I don't, I don't want anything to happen to this home. I've never belonged anywhere else. You had to have lived somewhere before. Would it be strange of me to say I don't know? I have very little memory of my home before coming here, even though I was three years old when I arrived. I remember moving around a lot, never staying anywhere for long, and for some reason the robes of that sorcerer looked familiar to me. I don't know why. I'm sure it's nothing, just the memories of childhood playing tricks. With glimpses of the spirit realm invading my thoughts, I could have seen them anywhere. It's actually not a bad memory for a child under three. So, why did you move around and how did you come I here? I can't remember specific incidents, but I am used to being shunned. People are not very welcoming of those who appear to not let the dead lay peacefully. Master Lee said I was brought to him by a concerned ally who received me from yet another person. That person wanted me safe, but he said he couldn't ensure it himself. Master Lee doesn't know who that guardian was, or what I needed protection from. He promised to look into it, but he's not had time. Your training has taken precedence. My abilities are just a curiosity. You are the center of attention here. I prefer it this way. I can just... be. Oh, I don't want to be the center of attention. Troubling not to know your past. Yes, I suppose you know something about that as well. I hope this does not sound odd, but I am glad we share that. Thanks for this talk. The events on the beach worried me, but <laughs> you always improve my mood. Let's get back to what you need to do. Aww. Well, that was sweet. Then we should return to Master Lee so he can talk to you about this attack. This dude. Okay. Cool.
Okay, I will not be a dick to you. Mind if I ask you some questions? What are your thoughts on two rivers? Who are the important citizens? Give me your opinion. Wo Anania ifu we ok sonorok noka ok snapir. I kir nik tine piru wo ifu rek ok son puno. Sata tawe ir wo nawa fu kuno su kud nia awawa ir su tok. What do you know about Master Lee? Sayros ti usiat saro rasi pa ukar ir snap so aku. How did he come here? Not at all. Na pirapirni nik takatashi. So apparently he brought me here when he first came here. Ikir nik tine piru wo ifirek uok son puno. Sata kwa ia nikarwa fan. Who was the master before? Not at all. Na pirapirni. Niktakatashi. Wasn't that long ago. How old do you think I look, dude? Kunir puk no son kud na no wana nyapir. Isana yu yo. Compared to you, I mean, like, come on. How did he come here? Not at all. Not here. Oh, okay. I already asked that. Let's go back to my other questions. Tell me about the... Wait. I thought there were more questions in here. How are the students viewed? Oh, okay. That makes sense. Okay. What do you mean for the most part? Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. That guy is kind of a dick. You flatter, sir. I am sorry not every student has earned such respect. Right, back to other questions. Good. Tell me about the Emperor. Ugh, he's just a dude. Is the Emperor neglecting the borderlands? Can we talk a bit about the past? So what do you know about the spirit world? Tell me about the long drought. Wo Anania if we were Uk Sonorok Noka Uk Schnapir. Oh, so now I'm young again. You could ni kunk u no sa your son could noka uk your ear. 
o nikasurir kwana no kuni ugnawa te ir nik nipier. Okay, but what really happened? Ikir nik tine piru wo ipirek uk son puno. Sa ir yakoak kokonato si ir ipano niniku. Niato no napadi irovir. Kuni ugnawa te ir. Sounds like a bunch of bullshit to me. Yeah, that is a good point. If you accept a story like that, like, why are you so? Kuni fuk no son kud na no wana nyabir isano yuyo. Ir kana. That is not the same thing. You could ni kunk uno sa ir son could no ka ukyor ir. Alright. Let's get back to a realistic question. How is the Empire formed? Kunir fuk no son could na no wana nyapir. Isana yuyo. Unikasurir kwana no kuni uk nawata ir nik nipier. Alright. I think that's enough out of you. To go to Otuaso. Goodbye. Right, let's see what this dude wants. I'm so glad you and Master Lee arrived when you did. My father ran to the school gate to find students to help. Did he make it? Uh... Yeah. I guess he did. <laughs> that is a great relief. We tried our best, but without you and Master Lee, we would have died. Oh. Thank you. So you're Canadian? Hopefully Master Lee can shed some light on what led to this. A sorcerer in our little village? What is wrong with the world? Yeah, I guess it's Bioware. That doesn't surprise me. What oh, you! you want? You're a friend of Dawnstar, right? I'm looking for her. Dawnstar, there you are. I know I haven't spoken to you in a while. I saw him again last night, and I remembered what you said. I wasn't as afraid. I'm glad, Mrs. Zhang. He seemed... peaceful, if a bit... lost. But I know it's not your fault now. I'm sorry for disturbing you and for what I said before. All right, goodbye. Remember Zhang Jin, her son? He drowned last year after the mooring she tied let go. A sad accident. I saw his spirit and told her. She thought I was calling up ghosts. What are you doing Some with your hand? Some spirits because of trauma. To rectify something that disturbed them in life or death. They are very focused. When the pain is gone, they find rest. At least they are supposed to. Jin's spirit told his mother the accident wasn't her fault. Now he wanders unconnected to this world and unable to pass to the next. Troubled spirits can be set to rest for a time, but unless the greater problem is corrected, it seems all dead are destined to wander until they go mad. I'm sorry. This has been difficult. I don't want to think about how it affects specific people. I'm still not sure I should have told Mrs. Zhang about her child. Hmm. Well, next time, you know, if she wants your help, just let her ask for it. She wouldn't. She would rather blame herself than seek solace. I guess blame is easier to understand than chance. Come on, we should go see if the students are alright. Master Lee will be waiting. Alright, let's go. Ah. Okay, that's the way. It's a good thing we have Master Lee here. 
Don't forget his senior student. They say she's the one who fought many of those bandits. Yeah, that's right. Damn straight. Alright, let's see what this dude's up to. I knew you would not let those bandits overrun the village. I hope I equal your skill someday. Please do not. This is the first task I have been given, and I don't want to get distracted. Uh. Alright, goodbye. Master Lee was looking to speak with you, wasn't he? After he left me here, he went back to his house in the center of the school, if you're looking for him. Yeah. Move the story along. Who was that man leading the bandits? He was really scary. Hmm. Get this altar thing. Or, eh, let's get this thing, actually. Oh, okay. Restores health and chi, which I didn't need. That's okay. At least I know that now. Uh, why not? Let's see what's this way. Okay, it's a waterfall. The tomb. Dedicated to the old master. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Lion head token. Okay. Okay, I apparently completed a book set, whatever that means. Some codex. Okay. I think that's good. It's fine, Master Lee, I suppose. Don't think anyone else has anything to, to say. To hear Gao tell it, he single-handedly beat back the bandits. But I know you did the lion's share. Too bad I was stuck up here minding the younger students. It would have been great to see Master Lee deal with that sorcerer. We so rarely see our master's true abilities in action. What do you need from me? For you to quit your bitching. Stay well. Yeah, that's it. After all, how could we learn without our most senior student to guide us? Everything you say just sounds so sarcastic and sarcastic, sarcastic and bitchy. Apparently, the word for that is sarcastic. I hope you were not injured in the bandit attack. You fought bravely, from what I hear. Let's see. Shaman and Jingwu. You are the hero of the moment. Gao oh. claims that he dealt with hordes of bandits, but everyone else agrees that you turned aside their main attack. It is good that you were here. My foolish lack of attention forced Master Lee to come to my rescue, and left me with a wound that will take a few weeks to heal. Master Lee assures me I will heal in time. It's a shame, as Smiling Mountain was teasing me just yesterday with some special prize. What sort of prize? Smiling Mountain trains students in group combat. And just yesterday, I managed to break your record for the number of opponents faced at once. Is that so? He teased me by saying if I could go one higher, he might have a prize for me. 
I suppose he might make the same offer to you, if you're up to it. If I could fight, he could likely round up enough opponents for you to make a run at a new record, but I can't face anyone with this wound. I will keep that in mind. Is there anything I can do to help you with your wound? Unless you can speed up time, I'm not sure there's much that can be done. Masterly has already tended to it. Then again, I vaguely recall a grass or herb that hastens the healing process. Someone like Old Ming might know for sure. He's quite interested in herbs. I just talked to that guy. Would it heal you quickly enough so that you could fight again? I think so, though I can't remember the name. It was some kind of rare grass, I think. Do you remember if it grows around here? I don't think it's a common plant, no. The only person I can think of who might know for sure would be Old Ming. <sighs> How much would something like that cost? I'm not sure, but if you had to buy it, I'd happily pay you back for the trouble you went through. This wound will heal in time regardless, but I wouldn't complain if it knitted faster. All the quicker to return to my training. Alright, I think I know enough. I know you're very busy, but if you happen to have time and be passing by the beach, I'd appreciate it if you would at least ask Old Ming. If I'm lucky, he might know of an herb. And if heaven smiles upon me, he'll know where to find some. If you have to buy anything, let me know what it costs and I'll pay you back happily. It would be worth it to get back to training. Okay, well, you seem nice, so I might help you out. And what do you think of the others at the school? I haven't talked to many of the newer students. The only one I have strong opinions about is Gao. And that would be? He and I have sparred many times. He's come dangerously close to injuring me, and I've seen his aggression hurt others. I've expressed my concerns to Smiling Mountain, and he wisely advises me to focus on myself. If I let my anger get the better of me, I'm no better than Gao. Alright, get back to my other I'll questions. I'll answer what I can. What do you think about Master Lee? Master Lee cares deeply for all of us, despite his stern demeanor. Look how he came to my rescue when the bandit's spell left me wounded. Do you have any idea why someone might be looking for him? I've heard a rumor that the man leading the bandit seemed to know Master Lee, but I really couldn't say why. It's scary to think they came here with a purpose, though. Why don't you ask Master Lee? Alright, goodbye for now. Take care. Oh, and if you happen to find anything that might help this wound after you talk to Old Ming, let me know. Alrighty. Glad to see you're still well. By most reports, you've faced down many of those bandits yourself. Impressive, senior student. Most reports, huh? huh. Who else? Gao the Lesser won't let a chance to glorify himself slip away. To hear Gao's side, he pushed back the bandits. But I know you dealt with the greater share of them. Of course, it was best that our master was there to deal with that sorcerer. The stories about their confrontation spread quicker than a plane's fire. All right. Now. Oh, yeah. Talk to... Where did he go? Oh, yeah. Here he is. I heard how you faced those bandits in the village. Many people are impressed, but I expected no less. Your skill is a match for any rough bandit. Is there anything you need? Perhaps a training session with some of the students. It would do them good.
see any option about Goodbye. whatever that one I am here was in. if you need anything. Oh well. It's probably some something that's not all that great. Or maybe it's what I did before. Who knows? Mm. How do I get back to the beach again? I have a horrible sense of direction. I think it's this way. It is. Okay. Back to talk to that old bastard. Wait a minute. That's not the way. the beach wasn't right here, I would have just said, screw it. Let that girl fend for herself. Let's see, it's a villager. What? Where did that old dude go? There he is. Niato nanapadi irovir. Kuni ognawata ir. One of our students was wounded during the bandit attack. Okay, what's the difference? Irkana. Okay, where is this merchant? Okay, thanks, dude. Usair Coconato Tanatia Katanano Shafatoyo Coconato Siri Pananiko. All right, got it. Yato nonapadi irovir Kuni ognawata ear. All right, Usair Coconato Tanatia Katanano Shafatoyo Coconato Siri Pananiko. I get it, dude. I see, like, a moral choice coming. Alright, bye! Ooh, what's in here? Ah! Money. That'll help. Glad I went back that way. Alright, time to find this merchant dude. Those bandits will think twice before threatening a town protected by the likes of Master Lee. They were fools to even come here. What's with this dude's voice? The only shame is that their ship sunk. Think what we could have done with their plunder. Ah, uh, well, that's another opportunity lost. Is he trying to be a pirate? In this town, it's vital for a businessman to keep tabs on anyone with two coins to rub together. Things haven't been this slow since the long drought. That master of yours keeps things ludicrously stable while merchants thrive on strife. During the long drought, prices rocketed into the sky like fireworks. You don't like Master Lee's leadership? I can't say that. He's a wise man who sees to the heart of things. If I were to complain about anything, it's how few students he attracts. A skilled master could bring a lot of people into this town, but he is very selective about who comes. That's his business, I'm sure, but it affects my business as well. There's no trade to be found in stability? I get by. I suppose I shouldn't wish for strife, lest it come knocking on my door. 
Shoot his voice. Besides, the bandits didn't do as much to bring people to the store as I hoped. So maybe stability is underrated. All right, let's talk about what you can do for me. Happily, we don't need to waste time on my gripes when there's silver to be spent. All right. To ask about You'd the think village. the recent attack would have people buying supplies or weapons or something, but alas, business has not improved. Who's important around here? Who could be more important than Master Lee? He is the anchor of this town, and none question his wisdom. Two Rivers has always accepted the masters of your school as leaders, but none have taken to it with the skill, authority, or wisdom of your master. See, I think, like, this chick is probably, like, 20 years old or so. And if Master Lee came when she was a baby, like, why is he such a big deal? It's 20 years, like, everyone is acting like he's been there forever. It's weird. Anyway, how are the students viewed? No different from anyone else. If you keep to yourself, no one bothers you. Are there exceptions? Well, you are always asking questions. That can be tiring. Yeah. Although I do prefer that over Gao's posturing, he is not well liked. But his father has money, so he gets his way. Yeah, if Master Lee is so selective, I'm kind of surprised that Gao's even here, to be honest. Alright, more questions. If time. you wish, what do you want to know? I want to ask a few things about the Jade Empire. I've never set my eyes beyond the horizon you can see from here. There must be someone else you could ask. What do you know about the spirit world? I send my thanks to the spirit for successful journeys just like everyone else. I don't have any special insight. Why not ask your friend there? Dawn Star knows more about the spirit realm than anyone, it seems. She's been a great help from time to time. Dawn Star. I do what I can to help, good merchant. That's all any of us can do. Alright. Tell me about the long drought, then. I grew up during the worst of it, but I don't remember much. Just the joy when the Emperor put an end to it. Two Rivers was almost deserted by that time, but Master Lee arrived soon after, and we've had peace ever since. Yay. And how was the drought stopped? I don't know. That's why the Emperor is the Emperor, and I'm content to be here. I don't need to worry about it. No one gives a shit about anything in this town, it seems like. Let's go back to my other questions. If you wish, what do you want to know? Um, tell me about yourself, why not? Well, there isn't much to tell. I'm just a simple merchant trying to ply his trade in a town that resists spending money. One day the gods will recognize my suffering and elevate me to their ranks. Alright, more questions. If you wish, what do you want to know? I am looking for ingredients for a medicinal poultice. Oh yes, I had heard that someone was injured and immediately saw the opportunity to make vast sums of... No, to make a difference, that's it. Oh, shut up. Anyway, I've checked my stocks, and I only have enough ingredients to make one dose of the salve for a poultice. I'm not sure how much good it will do by itself. Might take a bit of the sting away. Okay, well, the old dude by the beach suggested red silk grass. Oh, now that's thinking, isn't it? Yes, I suppose red silk grass might be just the thing for a wound. I could add it to the poultice. Uh-huh. Uh, expensive stuff, that. Very pricey. Hard to acquire, too. Would certainly help her wound, but I know something just as good. 
Get her some bearded tongue grass and she'll feel better. It won't hasten the healing any, so she'll have to take it easy, but it will deaden the pain. Now I'll take the red silk grass. If you think you can justify such opulence to heal something that time would take care of, who am I to argue? I'll just need your payment to prepare the poultice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just found like 90 silvers in a barrel, so yeah, 50 is fine. Maybe I can convince him to go lower. But I don't understand why the merchant's trying to talk me into something cheaper that doesn't make sense. He should be like, oh, take the red silk grass, it's more expensive, but it'll be, you know. Like, this merchant is weird. Business has been slow. What am I supposed to do? Starve? Let's see. Do I have high charm? Intuition. Yeah, I'll try to charm him. Well, a kind man like yourself wouldn't let a student suffer only for a few silvers, would you? I suppose it would be bad for my reputation, and you're well known enough that word would get around. Fine, I'll knock off a bit of silver. Ah, thanks. Alright, here's 40. An excellent choice. I'll mix the salve for you and prepare the poultice. It won't take a moment. There you go. Her pain will fade quickly, and the binding effects of red silk grass will make sure she can fight again, if she wants to. All right. Your generosity is extreme, but who am I to complain? Enjoy, and I hope it makes your friend better quickly. All right. See you later. Do come back when the weight of your silver is slowing you down. Always happy to help. Yay. Okay. And back to the school. Actually, I haven't been this way yet. What's going on over here? Pigs. Bacon. Bacon. Ooh. That is not what I meant to do. <laughs> Silver. Okay. Quite a bit of excitement. Yes, bandits can be tricky opponents. Of course, that didn't stop Gal the Lesser from beating a few of them senseless. That boy enjoys causing pain. They were lucky I had to stay at my post. Yes, lucky. And Master Lee wouldn't like it if I wasn't here to stop his students leaving. Anything interesting going on around here? Why do you need to ask? A bandit attack isn't of enough interest? What else would people talk about? Can I ask you about the Empire then? Perhaps one of the villagers can accommodate you? I would rather focus on my job. Fine. Two rivers may be remote and calm, but I still take the task of protecting it seriously. I see how it is. Farewell. Where does this go? Town gate. And here's another one of these spirit font things. Alright. Okay, I guess I can't go that way yet. such a bad sense of direction. <laughs> Wait, I'm not going back to the beach, am I? Okay, that's to the school. It's this way. I haven't been this way yet. Hey, boys! Look who it is! 
You sound drunk. Is that the one gal the Lester's always going on about? So do you, sir. I think so. I say they teach a little lesson about staying in your place when, when great men like Gow are around. <laughs> Alright, there will certainly be a lesson learned here today. Let's begin. Teach us whelp a lesson manners. <laughs> you guys are drunk. Thousand cuts. That's so cute. <laughs> Did I kill them? Oh shit. <laughs> I didn't think they would die. Oh well. I'm surprised I didn't earn any like closed fist points or whatever. Alright, back to the school. Okay. Oh, I haven't been this way yet either. Oh, okay, nothing here. Okay. And where was... There she is. This has been a busy day for us all. Is there something you need? Here you the go. sun breaks through the clouds when I hear news like this. Heavens, I can already feel it working. Heavens. That's amazing. Yes, yes, this should be perfect. The poultice must have cost you some silver. Let me repay you. What did it cost? Persuaded what's his name to reduce the price from fifty down to forty. However, did you manage that? Must have been quite a feat. Why don't I give you the real value of the ingredients for your hard work? Given how quickly I could feel an effect, this cure was worth it. Here, take this with my thanks. If you're interested in trying to set a new record for Smiling Mountain's special prize, whatever it is, then I'll be ready. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. So does that mean this I have has to been talk a busy day for it? Uh, I guess not. Goodbye. Oh, well. I don't care that much. All right, let's talk to Nathan Fillion. Well, it seems you have everyone on your side again. Hero of the village as well as the school. It is a well-earned accolade. We should all be proud. Sounds so angry. I'm not sure why. Such vermin are barely a threat. I beat a couple of those fools as well, just not the swarm on the beach. Why didn't you have your men help you? I found those drunk bastards after the attack. Beat the hell out of them too. They deserved a chance to celebrate, in my opinion, so I left them with a few silvers with which to enjoy themselves. Ah, okay. They took down a bandit who dared try to circle around me. That's the kind of support I need. Men who watch my back, but don't get in my way. Besides, what's a few bandits to one of my skill? Hardly worth the time. So, why didn't you come down to the beach to help me? Were you scared? I did not run. I dealt only with the bandits that got in my way. Why waste my time stomping rats into the sand? It is not my job to rescue those who are not strong enough to protect themselves. That is an endless, foolish road. There are always victims, always weaklings. You could live a thousand lives and still someone would be begging for your help.
this coming from someone no one wants help from. Fairly welcome here at all. Why should I care? I have little interest in the other students here, and even less for the mud farmers outside. I'm here to train, nothing more. You'll soon see what I am capable of. I will make sure of it. I don't know, it sounds like you I'm do care a little bit. Go we'll talk to your precious master. Training will not resume until he has met with you. Alright, let's get on with this. Ah, you are back. I hope this unfortunate matter with the bandits has not caused undue stress. Some good people were lost, but many were saved. It means, however, that I must accelerate your training. These invaders discovered us by accident, but as you likely suspect, they are related to your destiny. You have trained hard and are ready. You will have a pivotal role in some great events, my student, after you return from the spirit cave. I object! Gao, what is the meaning of this intrusion? Your pet student is not the only one who fought those outlaws. Perhaps I did not stand in their midst on the beach like a fool, but I did my part. If you spent less time coddling her, hand? you would have many promising students instead of one. I wish there was something neutral to say there. Oh well. Go cry somewhere else, Nathan Fillion. This is not a matter that can be decided by effort, Gao. There are things at play that you do not understand. I understand that this student has received preferential treatment and I have suffered for it. Whatever is in this spirit cave, I am worthy of facing it too. If she is truly better than me, let her what is prove this? it. I challenge her. Alright, if you wish. I will not have you brawling in the street. If this must happen, it will happen in the ring, as a proper test of your abilities. Gao, you are restricted to styles that I have taught. I know the dark tutoring your father, Gao the Greater, has imparted, but I won't have any such sorcery here. Sorcery. Hobbled before I begin. Of course. How else would your precious protege win? My student, I do not trust Gao to fight honorably. Consider your attacks carefully. Prepare yourself and return when you are ready. I'm ready. Then let the fighters meet in the arena. I should have saved first, probably. Fighters, actually. are you ready? Oh well. This challenge will continue until one of you is incapacitated. This is not a practice bout. Injury is a possibility. A possibility? I think it is more than likely. My thoughts exactly. Master, are you certain this is appropriate? They have a dispute, and this is the only way to settle it with certainty. It will be an honorable contest. I have restricted Gao from using his father's sorcery. I said you would regret getting in my way. Fighters, begin! Thousand cuts! <laughs> That actually kind of hurt. How do I heal again? Oh god, how do I heal again? I forgot. Uh, how do I heal? This is what I get for not playing for a while. Mm. Is it left shift? I think it is left shift. Okay, it is. Come on. 
Why is my good hit not working? Can I use my sword? Come on. Ow. Oh shit. Just die. Okay. That was actually closer than I would have liked. It is done. The challenge has concluded and the winner is clear. I have made enough concessions to you today. I thought I could guide you away from your corrupted path, but you are too much the son of Gal the Greater. You are no longer welcome among my students, and your father's house shall have no more business here despite his influence. I was not beaten! Not by this peasant! You were defeated by your own foolish ambition and predictable temper. I will speak with you in my chambers about your expulsion. Go now. Everyone, this challenge is concluded. I'm sure the victor would appreciate your congratulations. They are well earned. Yay. Enjoy the words of your fellows. I will wait in the main hall, where we will discuss the spirit cave. Be certain you are ready when you come to me. Your life is about to change. That was exciting. I'm glad you are safe. I knew you would be. Your skill is unmatched. Even Gao had to see that. I suppose that's what set him off. I hope he isn't allowed to stay. Punishment just makes him worse. Master Lee has bent like a willow to accommodate him and his sorcerer's father. Yeah, he does a lot of confusing things. Yes, yes, he does. I didn't want to say, but, well, I guess that's why we aren't the master and he is. He must be thinking of bigger things. Why does everyone always make excuses for it people above them? It scares me sometimes, all this talk of troubled spirits. I didn't ask to be a part of it. As much as you want to know more, I doubt you had a say in your fate either. I'm... I'm sorry. This is supposed to be a happy time. You've proven your ability and Master Lee is waiting for you. You should go to him. Yeah, I just don't like that. Like, why is Master Lee doing these things? Oh, well, he's the master. I mean, I guess that's why... Like, what? No. Like, that doesn't make it okay that he's being a weirdo. Just because he's the master. Anyway, I'm going to save this really quick and then restart the stream. Then I'll do the cave thing. So, yeah. Saving the game. And I'll be right back. <laughs>